Hey guys, this is Ian from ENFJ. Today we're going to do an ENFJ and INFP interview. I've got Aiden with me. Hi. Um, so this was suggested by Eva Flores. Um, let's start. So, whoop. so what do you reckon our similarities are? Well, we're both NFs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, how? So we're both we're both intuitive and emotional. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like more than average person. Yeah. And I feel like we are guided by our emotions. We okay. don't know what I'm talking about. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, that makes sense. I'm just <laughs> um, Would you say we we have the same uh, depth, maybe? Same what? Depth. Like, are we both... Um, Not shallow. Yeah, are, are we oh. both... Do you reckon we both think about the world as much as each other? Um, yeah, I'd say so. And yeah. do you feel you're looking for more of a deep connections with people? Yeah. And relationships and yeah. to find meaning in everything. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. Like, you know, like um, if I'm in a relationship, so I'm just romantically speaking, like, I feel like a relation, the best relationship is like when you both, you know exactly what's going on in each other's minds. Like, you know everything about that person. Yeah. Where some people are just happy not to just know anything about them. It's like, I've got my boyfriend, a girlfriend, or you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> um, but, but, you know, but they may not know anything about them. Yeah, you know? yeah. Yeah. Um, so what about our differences? What do you reckon? Um, I guess perceiving, judging is our biggest difference. Yeah. And also I feel like you are a lot more socially outgoing. Yeah. And more um, welcoming welcoming and friendly towards others. You don't consider... Like people your, who yeah. you... Oh, sorry, what? You don't consider yourself welcoming? Well, I try to be, but I'm not very good at making friends with newer people okay. or joining like new circles of friends whereas you're yeah. more you more Accommodate easily yeah, yeah do that stuff. Yeah. Um yeah. Do you find that that brings out do you find that my accommodation brings out you more as an introvert or does it tire you out? Like does it burn you out as an introvert? Um, like, is it a good thing or a bad thing? No, no, <coughs> yeah, I'd say it'd be a good thing because it, cause it's a lot easier for someone else to find me personally if someone yeah. else has easily befriended me or showing, um, just being welcoming to me. It's a lot easier for me to come out of my shell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you don't find that me as an extrovert or, like, I don't burn you out like other people might? Uh. Or you find if I'm around you too long you get I guess tired? In like one on one situations, not really, but if it yeah. was a, if it were group situations, then yeah. Okay. So do you find you get burnt out more from group situations? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I find the same thing because when I'm in a group, I have to make a conscious effort to like, well, I don't have to, right? I, I like force myself to always because of FE. Um, it's almost like I have to, I like start observing everyone's behaviour, you know, this person's saying this, what do I mean to this person, what's this person feeling, how does this relate to me, and it's kind of like this big, <laughs> like it's like bouncing off the wall sort yeah. of thing. Mm. Yeah, do you find I, the same thing? I, yeah, I think I do something similar to that, yeah. yeah. It's like social noise that just goes on in the back of your head. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, what do you like, what do we like about each other's types? You can go first. What do you oh. like about ENFJs? I feel like I can relate to them a lot more than other people. Um, just because they both think on an emotional level, I guess, and they're more yeah. understanding of how other people might be feeling in certain situations when a lot of people kind of aren't aware of that, and yeah. I can relate to that a lot. Yeah. Um, you don't find other INFPs do? Oh, yeah, yeah, but yeah. just in general, most people. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. I should say NFs. NFs, yeah. Um, yeah. What do you think... Um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I'm, on that. I was just going to ask you a question, but I lost it. Oh, okay. And also, because you guys are a lot, you're extroverted, I'm introverted. Um, it kind of helps. Yeah. Because we both don't. Like you don't get. It's not as hard for you to communicate with another yeah. person. Would be as if another person were as loud as you, it would be a bit. Yeah, it's crazy. Right. And Actually, for me, yeah. if I was with another person who was more introverted, it would just be a bit boring. Mm. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. And like. I can just keep on kind of conversations and talking for hours and it's kind of like you like you kind of don't mind. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like yeah. you just ramble. Um I guess what I like about your type, INFPs, um 
Well, well one thing I've noticed that we do well is, yeah, like we have an intuitive understanding of each other. Like a lot of the time, um, you'll you'll be searching for a word. I've noticed just recently, you'll be like, um, you know, when people, and I'll be like, oh, when people like do this, I'll come up with the word that you were thinking, you'll be like, oh, that's the word I mean. Yeah, like, yeah. It's like we almost fill in the gaps of each other's knowledge. And we almost finish each other's. Sentences. Could you have a Yeah, okay, nice. Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, um, what else do I like about INFPs? Um, oops. Hmm, I like their sense of um, like caring for people. Like, for example, um, I don't know, a bit of a contrast Andrew Garfield, INFP. Um, I like him quite a lot. You guys both, you know, you sort of. I like you see Andrew Garfield has got like his you know humanitarian stuff he's always publicising and you know whereas for you you sort of you know, you're like I ask you once you what do you want to do you're like yeah I want to do something I'm interested in but I also want to help people you know and you guys are kind of like selfless like that and I like that about mm-hmm. INFPs because mm-hmm. not many types have that <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. Um, and what about conflict how do you find we differ in how we react to conflict. When I when there's like a conflicting situation for me, or like when there's a person who does something that I don't agree with, or whatever, or just any situation where I'm not really happy with what someone's doing, I kind of tend to just bottle it off inside, or I don't yeah. say anything to the person. Yeah. Unless it's something like I know that I can persuade them or show them what they're doing wrong without creating an argument. Yeah. Because I tend to avoid arguments or anything like that. Yeah. yeah. Um. What? It's so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to anyway. anyway um, yeah. But like, how do you, how would you feel you would go about that? Um, how would I go about that conflict? Um, for me, with conflict, I'm <clears throat> look. I'm half and half the same as you. Sometimes I will just not say anything because it's just not worth it. Um, whereas other times I will just be like, "You need to stop doing this. I'm just going to hit the nail on the head." Just you know, like I'll be direct. I won't be yeah. passive aggressive. Um, and other times, as Jackson had pointed out in the past, um, when people I don't like are doing things that I do not like, um, I'll probably create conflict. I'll be like, you know, hey, you got to stop doing this, or I'll, you know, I'll make an effort to show them that what they're doing is wrong. Probably not in the nicest way, which is weird because with FE, it's like I really care about people, but there's like a line between, like, if someone pushes me too far then suddenly the FE kind of just backs off and then it's like all this like hate just comes out and it's like, it's right, a you're crazy gonna... little ENTJ inside of you that wants to <laughs> skin someone. Yeah, exactly. It's like, it's, yeah, it's like all of a sudden I like, just get really angry. But you have to, I have to be pushed really far for that to happen. Like, it, it takes a very long time for me to, you know, um, like example, Nelson Mandela, ENFJ, he did like, you know, all this stuff to try and stop apartheid in South Africa. Um, but eventually he just had, you know, his group had to resort to violence because no one was listening. And mm-hmm. I guess that's an example of how when ENFJ gets pushed too far, then they create conflict instead of stopping it. Mm-hmm. Um, but in terms, of how I, in terms of how I, like, deal with it, like you said before, I probably am more open about it. I'll talk to people about it, whereas you, you bottle it up. Yeah. Yeah. Which is probably, once again, in, like, friendship terms, it's like when you bottle up, I'm good at, like, pointing it out. Yeah. You, and then, or vice versa, you're good at listening. Yeah. 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 Um so as an NF, do you find yourself um misunderstood? Uh I guess <coughs> not so much misunderstood, but I find it hard to <laughs> um to relate to people on a deeper level like mm. a not so much on just like a um surface level. Yeah. 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 Um, like I can rela- I can I can understand people easily on those levels, but no one really I feel like no one really gets like the deeper Yeah. Mm. yeah. Or not many people. Yeah. Yeah. I find for me a lot of the time, um as an EFJ, I'm the one who's always doing the searching. I find I find I'm always like I'm the one asking people the like the deep life questions and stuff, but then for some reason, it's like people would think, oh, if he's the one asking the questions, then he doesn't feel the need to be asked them himself. Um, but for me, I love those questions, and I, and I yeah. actually need them. But I never get asked them, so it's like, that can leave me feeling like, 
almost depressed, but not really like you know like misunderstood because it's like people think you know yeah oh he 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 talks so much maybe he doesn't need to be asked questions or something yeah, like that yeah. you know what I mean um, which is why I try to talk less <laughs> as an extrovert because oh. I don't want to talk too much you know what I mean like it's finding that balance I guess yeah yeah Especially have you ever met any female ENFJs um, would you see yourself like dating one or um, I think the only ENFJ I've met girl is Melody yeah um Really weird. <laughs> 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 I don't have to be like dating her. I just want uh, ENFJ. Like, could I you could, see yourself in it? I could like, see yeah. a friendship, like, and I could see how we would relate. <laughs> like, yeah. Develop into something else, or I don't. I could. I we would. We wouldn't clash. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't want to be like. Yeah. I could so see a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. gosh. Yeah. For me, anyway. with, for me with INFPs. Um, I find they're too, with the, the girls that I've met so far, I find they're way too unstructured for me. Who? So the INFPs. INFP girls, I don't know, like, oh. um, this is in friendship as well, not just dating wise. Um, I find they're really like, oh, they're just messy, they're just all over the place. And um, I feel like if I, had, if I was in a relationship with one, I'd mm -hmm. have to control them too much. Like, you've got to get your act together, you've got to do this, you've got to do that. And that's not healthy to do in any relationship. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, that would be probably my only thing in terms of compatibility. Yeah, okay. Alright, do you have any, um, what, yeah, do what, you have any final thoughts? Uh, no, not really. Not really? No, not really. Cool. Oh, one thing I was going to mention is, you're the one who got me into personality types, really. You're the one, hey, yeah. you and Rachel. Um, so I guess in that regard, we both have similar interests. Um, yeah. We're both interested, we're both interested in the human side of philosophy. And yeah. psychology. I mean, like, ja someone like Jackson will like, you know, <laughs> he likes, um, I don't know, he likes like objectivism. He likes he likes researching all that kind of stuff. Whereas you and me, we're more into like the human side of yeah, things. Yeah, and learn like why people do what they do. Yeah. And yeah, like the, yeah. 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 We're more into the why of people, not the how. I yes. Mean, yeah. Anyway. I guess that's it. Thanks for, yeah, thanks, Ian. for the video. Um, if you guys have any comments or suggestions, feel free to message me or comment them below. See you later. And our poll for the week is, do they make a better couple than Andrew Garfield and Emma Stone? <laughs> that is all. <laughs>